Hello, Commander! Welcome to chat! It's time to slime again- What is this man here? This man is not supposed to be here yet! Hello! <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Old Snapper! Hello, Robocon! Hello, Ernest Young! Don't you have an accounting firm, Ernest Young? Uh, hello, Robocon. Hello, Raycan. Re Raycanan. Re Raycanan. Raycanan Studio. Hello. Christopher O'Brien. I like Benjamin Sisko. I enjoy Mr. Benjamin Sisko. The best. The best uh, Starfleet series. The best Star Trek series. Good morning, Mr. Gottengiz. Thank you very much for joining us yet again. Hello, Douglas Barker. Good morning, Papercut, AC10 Spam for the win. Hello, Reverb, good morning, good morning. Hello, Reptilian Brain, good to see you again, my guy. Hello, Dorkif, oh, it's been a while, Mr. Dorkif, welcome, welcome. And Karos, good to see you, Kazega, hello, hello. It's time for a very special episode of Nerdy Overanalyzed, a very special episode. Our first, I do believe, our first collaboration ever on this stream. Um, we'll be playing, and, and first game of classic Battletech we're ever playing uh, live on stream. So that should be really, it should be really fun. Um, we'll be playing a whole game of Battletech Classic, and you can ask questions, and you can even build a list with me, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, good, good day. Good day, gents. Good day, Charles. Good day, Link. Hello, hello. All right. So I'm introducing, uh, for the first time, on the Nerdy Over Analyze channel, our very special guest, Mr. Pirate! Oh, Mr. Pirate, are you there? Good evening, future rating targets. Hello! <laughs> How are you, Mr. Pirate? Hungry for salvage. <laughs> Welcome to stream! Uh, Pirate is from, um, if you guys are part of the MRC Discord, I do believe you should know, um, who Pirate is and, um, and, and, you know, have faced him a number of times. Anyway, Pirate has been playing Battletech, um, for, I believe, 13 months, like a, like a maniac, right? Correct. Uh, 13-month anniversary just happened. I'm loving every month <laughs> of it. 13-month anniversary. Um, and, um... Yeah, Pirate's very, very skilled. He's probably ground out, like, he picked up the game, yeah, just 13 months ago, and he's probably been grinding. I mean, he's probably played at least, oh, by now, I'd imagine, like, triple, at least triple the number of games than I have, because I don't, I play maybe once a week, right? You, you were, there was a point where you were playing once a day, you said? Oh, yeah, I tried to get one per day back in February, but definitely two, three hundred plus games at this point. Jesus. Three hundred games, okay, okay. Hello, April. Hello, Bill Jeremiah. MRC represent! <laughs> Hello, Jeste, welcome. Welcome to chat. Anyway, so we will be playing a game of uh, Battletech. Let's move on to the gaming screen here. Hello, Workshop Telescope. Alright, so here's uh, Mega Mech. If you guys didn't know, uh, Mega Mech is the program where you play Battletech. Uh, as you can play Battletech against people online. Uh, it's part of the Mega Mech software package. So, there we go. Um, I'm bringing up chat here. So, I, f I did a part of a list. Today we're playing, um, Pirate's going to be playing Pink, uh, the mechs in Pink. And I will be playing the mechs in Green. I'll be playing the Capellan, the Capellan Confederation. I don't know much about the game, but I do know I really need a Marauder with the rotating AC5s in the arms. Oh, interesting. Um, so yeah, but I figure we can, um, we can maybe finish this list together. Uh, it's six versus six with 8k BV, so I have three more mechs to pick. But, Pirate, why don't you go ahead and introduce your list? You got a couple of, uh, interesting mechs. So, right off the bat here, I've got the Corsair Broadside, which is just a nasty 95-ton armored behemoth loaded with Two large lasers, a Gauss rifle, bunch of SRMs, two Gauss rifles, actually. 
is basically we found a bunch of parts in a dumpster, cobbled it together, and just kept adding until we weren't sure we were done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm pulling, I can actually pull it up here, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the guy that, um... We found this guy off of Mech... I found this guy off of MechWare online and then built him in Mega Mech. So this was the broadside, and then I just removed the ammo around. Uh, yeah, two Gauss rifles, large laser, and four SRM4s. And then... Da, 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 da. Oh, double heat sinks, right. Was a big was a big change. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. And your next mech. So then combine that with the uh, old reliable Whitworth here with some medium lasers and an LRM, two sets of LRM-10s mm -hmm. as a trooper mech. Mm -hmm. Then... We got a nice surprise for you. This is a jumpy javelin with two SRM six packs, one of which is an inferno. So uh hope you like getting hot. Yep, 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 yep. Urban mech, not much to say about it. Skip. There's nothing special about Urban Mechs at all. He definitely has no toys hidden in his right arm there with that AC ten. Uh huh. Vulcan, uh, this is the cheap Vulcan, it's the trash Vulcan, but it fits with piratey list, so he's gonna be my jumpy boy. And a bombardier because oh why not? Everybody loves a pair of LRM twenties that run out in six turns. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um and so my list, I'm running just two Capellan mechs. Uh the Vindicator one X, which is from the starter box. Uh just a guard mech. And then the Catapract with my frontliner. Kind of replacement uh Thunderbolt with two piercing weapons. I wanna try him out. I think a lot of people said he was good. Uh I think I rated him a little low on the tier list, so we'll try them out. And then the Archer 2R. But, um, I wanted to ask you guys, what mechs do you want to see? Because I have about 4,200 points left. Was there any mechs that you guys in particular uh, wanted to see, wanted to take a look at? Let me know. Let me know, I want to build out my last. And let me ask q and What mechs do you want to see? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, uh... Sorry, I forgot to say, since this is Capellans, we won't be using, um, we won't be using the, uh, we won't be using the Raven, because it's a little too, it's a little too quirky with the, uh, with the ECMs, so I kind of want to just, since this is the, um, since this is our very first, uh, little stream here, you want the Osrock? We can do an Osrock. The Ost Rock. Which one did I like? Uh, the Ost Rock 2C. Yeah, I think those are the normal one. Oh, it has narrow low profile. Okay, cool. We'll add that guy there. The Hunchback and the Catapult. The Hunchback. The 4G. The AC-20 one. Reverb, did you want the AC-20 Hunchback? Oh god, we have all heavy mechs. Alright, the catapult C1, that's a pretty Capellan boy. And the hunchback. Jesus, we just take whatever we want in 4K. Okay, that looks good. Um and then we'll upgrade a dude. We'll upgrade. <laughs> We'd be too greedy to upgrade the Okay, maybe we'll do the on a pyre, what are you thinking? Well, we can make one guy a veteran. Uh, if I was doing this, I'd probably pick either the well for 500 BV there. Yeah, you yeah. might be able to get away with the cataphract or the archer. I would want the hunchback. Maybe you could do the hunchback and the vindicator because that hunchback's probably only going to get one or two chances to shoot. Kind of want them to count. I'm a little scared with the hunchback. I'm a little scared to be honest. Uh, let's just try. I like the I like the catapults. I think catapults pretty cool. Let's do that. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Urban mech, but he's got the urban mech. Although I do like the uh, the idea of the R60. I think we'll leave him for next time. Okay, this looks like a pretty solid list. What I'm seeing here is that because you have, you took all these quote-unquote bad mechs, you do actually, you were able to upgrade them to three, four pilots. And your list is also, like, top-heavy with most of your points in the Corsair. It's, like, almost 3 KBV. 
Correct. So this is going to be a uh, attrition and tonnage war. So these veteran pilots are going to have to mop up your uh, scrubs as quickly yeah, as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's a question as well, and I'll put it to we'll put it to um, I want to start a poll here. I, I was actually thinking about how to fight this list. How do you fight this list? Do we go for uh, how to fight list? Um, based off of this, how do you, how do you think we should approach this, Commander? Uh, go for the head. Target Corsair first, um, or uh, kill the what do you call them? Kill the b -b 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 minions. Ask. How should we approach this? Should we attack the Corsair first that has like a bajillion armor? It has 256 armor. <laughs> but it does have the double Gauss rifles and the double large laser in the SRM4, which is going to be disgusting. Or do we go for like these, do we try and screen off like the Javelin, which is going to, the Javelin I think is a secret OP, like it's going to be a huge problem with the Infernos. And it, I don't, I, I don't know, the, I think the Hunchback pick is dubious. There's, you have so much speed, you have four, three dudes that can just get behind it and blow it up. Okay, okay. Uh, do you want to pick them up, Mr. Pirate? Mr. Pirate? Sure can. One sec. Okay, okay. Randomly All generated. Our, uh, answers. RNG. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Maybe we pick. Maybe we make sure it's not, like, anything insane. Like, I don't know. Uh, been, okay. been something, something crazy. Uh, some of the battle for two kid ones are pretty box standard. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Clan Invasion Era? No, we're playing Secession Walls Era. We're starting from the bottom. Let's see. You know you're desperate when you're fielding a bombardier. It's a pirate list. It's a pirate list. Elite pirates and bad mechs. We found it in a storage shed. Don't knock it. It fell off a jump ship. That Corsair will happily take the high ground and pop the ants with that goose cannon. Yeah. I'm worried about it. I'm kind of curious how you would use it, too. I think if it were me, I'd probably bring the Corsair into medium range uh, with the large lasers and then just start, like, quad using the four piercing weapons, just core max out. <laughs> Keep cover between you and the Corsair. Focus fire the little guys. Interesting tactics. Are you about, about ready? Ready? Oh, we have to hit. I'm done, right? Pick the map. Yep. Double check okay, me on okay, the map, okay, and then we're good. Interesting. Weird how you actually spent more sea bills than me, too. That's so strange. Uh, that Corsair is a little pricey. Is it? Oh, I guess it is Star League tech, right? Oops. All right. Hang All on. Right. That's not the map I was expecting. One sec. Oh, okay. Can we change the map mid-game? Uh, I don't think so, unfortunately. Okay, 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 okay. We can just restart. Knock down the big guy, pop the bodyguards, and then mop up. Or go for the middle ground. Kill the minions and gang up on the big ones. All right, we'll give it a couple of... We'll give it a, like another minute before we. Um, we'll give the poll another minute before we decide on our strategy here. Uh, vindicator. The Vindicator. 1x. It's a good thing you're here because I definitely don't know how to um, operate Mega Mech nearly as well. What was our other mech we picked? Hunchback, Cataprack, Vindicator, Catapult. Oh, Osrock, right? Osrock to see and what else was it? What was our fifth boy? Yeah, an archer in there. Archer, oh, the archer 2R. The archer 2R. I've got my shopping list of salvage ready, so don't yeah, want to miss yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we configure the this guy to be oh Nathan Campbell. What a what an oddly normal name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm done. Yeah, I'll let you pick a side so we don't deploy on top of each other. Oh, uh, wait, how do we do? Select. Change select. start up there in the left. Change start. I'll be on the. Actually, it might be easier if I pick the south side, whatever that is, so that you can look at it bottom to top. Got to do it south right. Okay, I'm done. All right, ending the poll.
Commander orders to target the Corsair first. Interesting. Interesting. How do we go for the... The Commander orders to target the Corsair first. Uh, I actually would do something different. I feel like there's going to be so much... Like, there's so much more fast mechs than us, with the Javelin and the Vulcan. And I can see with the Bombardier 4-3, you're just going to send it. <laughs> I would probably pull my Osrock back, but we'll see. We'll see. I guess we can take the fight. We can try taking the fight to them. I don't know how I'm going to guard the Hunchback, though. I'm I'm really scared about getting flanked by, like, the, by, like, or, like, the, the Javelin, especially. Whoa, it's, it's a so slimy boy. Oh, do I so, to make it? sure that my uh, pilots don't uh, eject mid-battle, I have to save with all their auto-ejections. Oh. Oh, it's a small uh, map. What the heck? Is this okay? It's it, a slimy boy. Hello, Icarus Falls. Might depends on which ones we can isolate first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you're deploying first. Let's see. Level six. Oh, that's because it's so low down here. I've never played with stuff so low in the corner here. It's so weird. The verticality. All right, so looking at this map, we have the Osrock. He deploys his urban mech here. Just looking at the map, I feel like this hill here. Can you see my mouse? This hill here is probably a good setup. Um, I don't see any other place to go, really. I mean, you could take center here, but then you're on the same level uh, as the opponent. And if we take the high ground here, that just means that... Mm, yeah, you take the high ground and you start bombing him. But if he goes directly across, then it's the, the position is really easy flankable. Uh, maybe let's wait. Let's use... Uh, our most worthless mech, or fastest mech, is the Osrock, oddly enough. Uh, I'm not worried about the urban mech, although it would be kind of easy and nice to pop him really quick. Maybe we'll bring him here. Here. I don't know. I don't have any initiative sinkers for my, because uh, I've got all expensive mechs. I'm rooting for the space pirates. You're rooting for the space pirates? All right, here they go. Who will win? The Bombardier. Interesting. Who will win? Your heart should be D. Or the Capellans. Who are you cheering for? <laughs> the pirates, personally. Ask your community. Uh, Bombardier. I know he's going to just unload with the Bombardier and then just run forward. So it doesn't really tell me anything. It doesn't really tell me anything. Uh, maybe we just bring the Vindicator out. I think it's like the least important. Oh, uh, misspelled Capellans. Darn. <laughs> Darn! I wish I went to college. Uh, pirates are to deploy. Vulcan 2T on the flank. Also doesn't tell me very much. Uh, my next fastest guy is the catapult. So we can bring him here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just deploy him there, I guess. Even a 
Capellians can't spell cap cap Capellian. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do here, chat, is I'm trying to deploy, give him as little information as possible. Um, when I'm when I'm deploying my mechs, so I'm deploying my least expensive slash fastest boys first before I have to commit my uh, heavier mechs. So he deploys his Whitworth. The problem is you have a lot more cheaper mechs. Like I'm worried, the big bad is the Corsair and where the Corsair goes uh, is pretty much where the fight's gonna take place. I think. I think I wanna commit to this hill. There's not really any other good move. Everything's so mobile except for the bombardier. So maybe we bring the cataphract on the outside. I don't know, man. Choices. Yeah, it's hard. Um. Because where you throw where you throw the Corsair is going to matter so much. It's just going to determine just... a lot about how the, the game plays out. Correct, because I could deploy him in the middle of the map and try to just dominate the center, which is always a good tactic. Or I could try to deploy him on an edge to try to play the long-range game, because I have Gauss Rifles. Yeah, the, the Goose Riffles. The Goose Riffles are... Let's just do this. It's probably not the best move, but I don't know if I have much of a choice. It's actually a pretty good move. This would be awesome for an awesome. Oh, by the way, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, Pirate has played a lot more games, right? He's played like 300 games. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. Oh, God, the javelin. I hate him. I hate him so much. He's um, just a uh, small boy. Um, oh, God. You know what? We have butt lasers. We'll be fine. We have the technology. To not be afraid of the butt lasers. Oh god, that brings him so close! He's gonna be on top of us. Oh, this. That's horrible. Alright, uh, uh... I feel like I'm playing... I feel like if I deploy the archer onto the hill, I'm playing right where you want me, because the javelin is gonna be on me real quick real quick but yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask because pirate knows more about the intricacies of this game more than i do i don't want to get kicked by that javelin it's gonna be horrible but then the vulcan's gonna come kick me anyway so you know whatever oh my god the pirates too much spread out i think it's fine i think i think the deployment is okay because if you have the javelin and the vulcan on the sides like the vulcan can kind of reroute within like one or two turns and that it basically makes sure that you have ps pressure on me no matter where i go middle corsair all right let's see let's see where he puts the boy Yo, the votes are 50-50. 50% Capellans, 50% Pi- Oh, Jesus. Of course you would. Of course you would. <laughs> so that's interesting. It puts the Corsair on the far... Uh, far right. So that it just has to, like, walk up onto... Walk up onto that this patch of woods right here, right? And then you're flanking the hill, pretty much. Ah... Uh... And how is this... How is this hunchback going to live? Poorly. Yeah. Maybe I just keep him... I don't know. Turn. We'll just keep him as a secret weapon here, maybe. Look, he's gonna go flank to push off the hill. Yep, exactly. Exactly. But I don't feel. Well, like, I, don't... I feel like I can't. Oh, ha! we won initiative. Nice. 
But you have so many initiative sinks, though. Where'd you go? Urban mech up. Okay. Yep. Uh, so now we just make our most obvious moves first. So this one here. Uh oh. Turn one. Oh wow. It oh, that's level seven. Oh. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it can turn. Wait, why can't I see you? Why can't I see over the hill? Uh, it's a level five in front of it, so that's two levels oh, high. Oh, five. Oh, my God. Yep, so you'll get partial cover I thought that four was to level the five. Six. Uh, oh, I had to make he the mistake. Here. All right. Well, it's too high to see over, so uh, what do we do now? Now I think we suffer. Um, okay, okay, okay. New plan. We'll use the... We will use it as a shield. We will use it to break line of sight. Like this. Like, no, 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 no. Like this. <clears throat> My DCMSI doesn't care for pirates. Yeah, yeah. It'll buy us maybe like a turn or two before Mr. Broadside Mark II comes in with his Gauss rifles and starts wrecking. All right, I gotta pay attention. Oh, this level, s the uh, the terrain on the left side is also level six, or yeah, also blocks LOS because the the ground quote unquote is level four. Where do you go? Whitworth went straight forward. Okay. Uh, I think we should start a firing line. This is okay. We'll just pull our. Uh, we'll pull our cataphract up. Let me see the range. Select cataphract. Well, how do you see the range? Can you see the range before? Uh. Before you commit to a move. Yep. Under view, there's a field of fire button. So while you're moving the mech, you should be able to. Click a uh, weapon in the pop-up box to see that weapon range. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Uh, weapon, large laser, medium range. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it, I love it. We'll just take this move. So I'm playing the most obvious moves first, um, and then holding my kind of maneuver mechs. I want to see where the core, well, yeah. I'm pretty sure the Corsair just moves straight forward. Any questions while we have Mr. Pirate on the line? The wit worthless. <laughs> Boo. What is your opinion on the Whitworth? I know that's your favorite mech, one of your favorites. For its BV, it's decent. Mm -hmm. It's uh, gonna crit seek, it can defend itself. It can jump out of trouble. It's got decent armor. It's a good trooper mech. Okay. Yeah, you like it. I think the hard part is that it's cheap, right? It's like doesn't perform as well. It's not as sturdy as some of like the Centurions and like your heavier boys. Half archer is pretty okay. Yeah. Is it my turn yet? No, you're. Moving. I think it's also. I'm still trying to learn how to use the Panther as well. Like those kind of like very. Mm, like the 30 to 40 ton kind of guard, guardy mechs. Kairos would actually take it over. Oh, the bombardier moves forward. The bombardier moves forward. Huh. I want to get my hunchy into range that long I know this Vulcan is coming around on my left
But if I run, I'll be in medium range. Do I just run? Always one run if it gets you the range. Back? No, he's going to get wrecked by the bombardier, right? Surely that can't be the play. Do we just send it? This is okay, whatever, let's send it. <laughs> Shot Witness me. <laughs> Oh, oh no, the Corsair. Ah, uh, darn. It's got no target modifier this turn. Darn. I want to see if I can take out one of the... Take out, just get a quick kill here. How do we pressure the Corsair? I love Panthers, but I actually don't think they're good. I think they're okay. I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to use them. I've used them kind of decently well, but not, I don't feel like, satisfied with the way that I've been using them so far I think you kind of use their uh, their PPC as the primary weapon and then <clears throat> uh, and then use the, the SRM as a finisher but yeah again I'm not I'm not happy with the way that I'm using okay they're a mobile turret uh my catapult okay so the corsair went to a hill which means that the only way we get cover anymore is from um being in forests i think i can just stand and tr i can afford to stand and trade with uh, for a little while. So we'll move. <clears throat> it's a lot of BB for one PPC, true, true. But then you're kind of like, I don't know. It, mm, it is true, but then the Vindicator is the same way. And you do have that, uh, you do have that SRM. So like, I think a lot of people have used them as like light hunters. I've used it kind of just hanging back, um, and then and then kind of using the SRM like later. The Panther is a slightly better Herbie. Ah, uh, okay. I think if the order was to pressure the Corsair, instead of using the Osrock to screen the Vulcan. We will use the Vindicator to try to screen the Vulcan. So we will just start moving. Oh, man, my Osirak has to run all the way around. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can find a better spot for him. That is directly in front. Does it actually matter though? I don't know. I guess that's safe. <clears throat> okay, shooting phase. Uh, we'll open with the, oh God's tens. All right, whatever. Um, how do we do this? Fire? How do you fire the weapons again? Oh, fire, right, right, right. This guy, fire that, fire that. File that. Done. Uh, Cataphract. 
We have nines. That's pretty good. Eights. And we'll be at... Where's your heat build up? 14? Okay, we can fire this. <clears throat> the Vindicator. Fire the PPC. Fire the LRM. Five... Uh, can the Osrock fire? Let's twist. He can. We get two, so we'll keep the heat low. We'll just fire that. Yeah, well, we have two, so we'll keep 2% we hit. Uh, catapult. We have 8%. 27%. So I like that better. And just because we can, we'll fire the... Ooh, Medium laser, right? We're keeping heat neutral. Done there. And the archer. We get 27%. Is that going to overkill him? Eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> I saw him go red. Miss, 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 miss. Everything missed. I think I downed him, right? Cataprac hits with the medium laser. Okay, that's nothing. Oh, the Corsair missed everything. Hell, he needs sevens with the Gauss rifle? How did you get sevens with the Gauss rifle? Ah, PPC misses. Uh, wow, the Hunchback gets wrecked by the Whitworth. Uh, he pays for it further on. Wow. Oh, you took a head. Oh, he took a head hit. Oh, jeez. Okay, my my hunchback is regretting his decisions. Wow, four armor, four armor on CT. Oh, what happened here? Do we hit floating crit? Through crits. armor crit. Through armor crit, hits the LRM twenty and explodes. Well. Oops. <laughs> oh, three, and he died. <laughs> the wit worthless. The wit worthless. F tier. Oh, my hunchback fell. But he's still alive. He's not long for this world. <laughs> Might as well just flank with the Osrock. I know, but he's on the other side of the map. All right, well, that's one mech off the board, I guess. That's one way to play Battletech. What is my hunchback at? Four armor CT. Wow. What did you move the urban mech? Okay. Uh. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? We could come this way and head, like face the Corsair head on. How much armor does this Bombardier have? How much armor does the Bombardier have? Way too much armor. It's made of armor. The through armor crits is an oof mechanic. It rolled a 12, though, on the through armor crit, right? Like three crits, uh, three triple crit? Yep, so it got three locations, okay, okay, which okay. just happened to be a heat sink uh, engine or something, or weapon, and my ammo bin. Hell yeah. But everyone's got a story about tax. What do, how fast does this bombardier move? Is it 4-6? Uh, you, you don't six, need to worry six, about six. him. He's a 4-6 boy. Uh, dang. The Bombardier is blocking the Corsair. Blocking for the Corsair. We get the Cataract in there? My fear is I have to close with you quickly. I want to see more of the board. And because I want to see more of the board, I don't think it's wrong to just uh, delay with the Vindicator. 
I've blown up ammo bins before. Good fun. <laughs> Rough to lose a whole mech on the first hit. Yeah, well, I shot everything at it, right? What else did you move? Oh, uh, sorry. It's got a front-loaded initiative on it. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. Okay, so we move the Vindicator. I want to hold the Ostrock in case the Vulcan plays really aggressive. I think the next initiative sync I have is the Archer. Oh, it gets line of sight that way. What the heck? Um, what if I move them just up like this? I don't want you to get line of sight. That's why here. We'll try this. <clears throat> Remember, our orders are to close with the Corsair and kill it. And because it's corner camping, we have to... We have to... Uh, we have to find a way in. But first, we have to get through this bombardier that's blocking for it. Hillcrest, the archer, or maybe risky run the catapult. The problem is this... I didn't know, I didn't zoom in well enough, but this is level 5 and this is level 7, so I can't actually get on top of the hill. We have to use it as a, like a blocker. Like anything behind here is pretty much safe from the Corsair. Actually, that might be a that might be a strategy if I run all my mechs over here and just block and then force the Corsair to come in. I mean, I take the Bombardier. I take the Bombardier and the Urban Mech and the Vulcan, like everything else in his list, but... But... If I don't take the Corsair, that might be a that might be a thing. That might be a thing, Commander. LOS dance to the Corsair with the hill as best as possible. You think so? Yo, fifty-two percent pirate. Oh Jesus! Oh Lord, he's coming. In Tortuga, Corsair come to you. <laughs> Um, uh, well, I didn't expect that move. I didn't expect that move, Commander. He's coming right at us. Um, um, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared, Commander. Alright, um, what if I go here? That gets me in long range, it's not enough. Uh, he's not gonna make it. He ain't making it. He's kind of in a bad spot. That is suicide. Um, hmm. I think we'll delay, play another delay move, maybe. I think this will be okay. If we play another delaying move and we just sit behind this hill, starting to look like Pickett's charge. Well, the Hunchback doesn't have moves. It can it can face its butt in the corner here. Okay, and the Javelin's out. So, now that I know he's there, I think... Oh, uh, he broke Carolo, so he gets into the sides. It's not rears yet, so it's okay. If I turn, I think I can hit the Javelin. Yeah. But if I move here, mm, if I move here, then I'm in short range. I actually like that a lot better. Uh, can I get my Osrock in? That's a, that's like a big. 
can get a medium range with the Osrock. And it's a 5-8 mover. I can take a rear shot from a Vulcan. Oh, wait, no, it has four armor. The Ostrock has four armor on the rear. Uh, okay, okay, I can go, I can go here and turn. And shoot through two forests. I think that's the best if I don't want to just accidentally throw. <clears throat> Oh, I could have ran. I'm dumb. Oh, well. The gunchback is gu hunched dead. <laughs> I was once forced into a last stand with a lone griffin 1N, but the battle has taught me my best tactic, running away. Hmm. I want that javelin dead. I think it'll help a lot. The bombardier runs in. Interesting. Uh, I think my cataract's fine where it is. It doesn't get the... The bombardier moved in a way that I can't get the javelin anymore. Or I can't, I, I can't safely run into the javelin range anymore. <clears throat> and I want to see where that Vulcan goes. Oh, right, that thing has, that, that javelin has infernos, I forgot. Do you have line of sight to my archer, by the way, with your javelin? Um, I don't believe so, because I think that level 2 differential uh, blocks it, but I do have it to the catapult. Catapult, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Pirates turn to move. Where that where that Vulcan going? How did you get that Corsair um that Corsair model, by the way? It looks pretty good. Uh pirate magic, also uh horoscopes. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this okay. kid came preloaded. I thought that was you. Really? It's just like yeah. just a, what? I didn't I didn't give you that. I don't I don't remember. I don't remember giving a lot. Where that Vulcan going, boy? I think I made a mistake with my Osrock. I should have ran it. Oh, Jesus. Well. That's interesting. Um, huh. Huh. That's a move I didn't expect. So I was going for the high TMM. So since I lost initiative, I figure defensive modifiers. That's something I didn't expect. What do I get here? Eights and sevens on the bombardier. Eights. Why not? 14 heat. That will bring me to 17? Plus four. I ah, just fire everything. It'll be fine. Twist. What do I get on the javelin? Tens. Tens with on the javelin. Hmm. What do I get with the catapult? Can I twist? I think I can twist in, right? Yeah, I do. 58%. That's really good. Okay. Uh, fire, 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 fire. Uh, do I fire with the other one? Put myself at 13. This is really good with the, um, these are really good. 58% is really good with the, on the javelin. I think I, I think I'll just trust that I'll just gamble. I'll fire everything in the, at risk overheating. Uh, Osrock. What does the Osrock get? The Osrock gets 
Eights on the Vulcan, tens on the Bombardier, and twos. We'll take eights on the Vulcan. Uh, fire, fire. Two. Net two heat. I think net two will be fine. Um, who's winning so far? Uh, no one yet. I think it's pretty still anyone's game. I have sevens on the Vulcan. Sevens on the Vulcan. Sevens on the Vulcan or tens on the Javelin. I think I have to take the sevens here. The, jo the Vulcan and the Javelin do both the same job of trying to flank. I think I have to take it. Net one. Uh, we'll go to net four. We'll push our heat a little bit. I think we'll be okay. Vindicator gets eights with the PPC on the Vulcan, nines on the Javelin. Nines on the Javelin. Hmm. I think... Let's look at the archer. The archer is in the sweet swap with the bombardier. Sevens on the bombardier, nines on the Vulcan. Sevens on the bombardier, though. Oh, uh, it does need a cooldown. Tens and eights. Oh, elevens. Uh, we'll fire this. I think, should we reset our heat here? But it's so much damage. It's so much damage. All right, we'll push our heat a little bit. Even though this is spreading damage, we're in the sweet spot. I think it'd be okay. Uh, oh, the Vindicator has no torso twist. Oh, they they it eroded went. it out. Yeah, yeah. They erod. I was like, why can't I? What you call? Because they eroded it out, but it's still programmed in Mega Mech. Oh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Crappy uh, Mectex. They forgot it has no torso twist. All right, we'll just YOLO the Vulcan, I guess. Looks good? Looks good. Careful, the Javelin can slash will Shrek you. Yeah, we've got, like, one more turn before the Javelin starts causing some serious problems. Oh, the AC-20 missed. Okay, glancing blow, because the Vulcan has narrow low profile. Another hit. Okay, 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 okay. You just miss with your most important weapon. That's fine. Bombardier, okay. Oh, the Bombardier smacks the Archer. My Hunchback just starts taking it. <gasps> oh, okay, I thought I saw red. Okay, three hits onto the Javelin from the Catapult. That's nice. That's really nice. You've got one armor on the right arm, three on the left torso, three on the left leg. That's pretty big. So the javelin's low on the leg. The Corsair! Goss rifle hits yeah. the right torso. I'm going to go shoot that pilot once he returns back to the hangar. SRM. Four heat on the heat phase. Okay, okay. Osrock misses. Fine. Large laser glances. Ew. Ew. Oh, double hit from the archer. Yes. 16 missiles. So 32 missiles onto the bombardier. Unfortunately, it's really well ar uh, armored. So that's janky. Uh, all the Vindicator's weapons miss. And both pilots succeed. Okay. All right. Interesting. The goose is wrapping the right torso and is already hunch hunchback. Oh, playing with the glancing rules. Yeah, yeah, we're playing with quirks. My turn to declare physical attacks. All right, so we kick. 58%. Kick, kick. Succeed, succeed. Okay. No armor remaining on my right leg. I crit your right leg. No effect. Okay, so your both legs are open now. And the Corsair is at zero heat. Bombardier's at eight. 
interesting. Okay, my Ricks are kind of running hot now. Kind of running hot. Yeah, we're playing with quirks. I usually play with quirks. I really like um, I really like quirks. I think they add. They're even though they're not balanced, they add. Uh, they add. They add a bit of spice to the game. All right, so I won initiative again. Wow. I think you have a command quirk in there giving you plus one or such. Yeah, your Corsair has that too. All right, syncing with the urban mech. I'm kind of out of moves here. What can I sync with? I can sync with my Cataphract. I guess I have to sync with my Cataphract. Good night, Abril. Thanks for coming. Oh, I have to go again, right? Uh, buh, 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 buh. If you stop killing me, I would go buh, twice buh. first. <laughs> uh, uh, as junk as it is, I think we just keep chilling with the. Maybe we'll twit turn. We'll turn one with the um, with the vindicator. It's really weird playing with no, no uh the bat the no torso twist. <laughs> how do I deal with that course? Oh, never mind. I was going to say how do I deal with the corsair, but the corsair is coming to us. Do I get into short range here? I mean, this is suicide, but... Sometimes you gotta... The Corsair's just running at us. What's my armor on my... I mean, he's not gonna live very long. All right, we could just run straight at the Corsair with the Hunchback and just see what happens. Uh, the Catapult is at... What's he at? Two heat. Hmm. Two heat. Osrock. Now, I have to keep in mind my Osrock has low armor on the rear. I don't really want to move it. Um, can my archer go anywhere? Archer can come here. Or he can back up. Or he can stay where he is. This is so bad. Which side of the Corsair is the goose cannon? Jumping the catapult, but it does give you all OS. It, I could, I mean, I was thinking about that. Like, we could come around this way with the catapults, but the javelin is a big problem. The issue is, I don't know where all his close range mechs are going to go. Uh, what do I do? One, two, three, four. Um,. They're all, they're about to be all over us because we're slower than them. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's like inside minimum range. So one downside of getting on the hill is it's hard to get off it with any defensive modifiers. Yeah. I don't like... Uh, walking off the hill but I don't see any other way to like get cover and then I'm just taking the bombardier so I'm like kind of flanked on the hill because if I walk off to get cover from the Corsair then I take the bombardier and the bombardier 
is pretty healthy, I think. It just got bl sandblasted, right? Yeah, it's got like 15. It's got so much armor. Uh, do I run the Hunchback forward like a maniac? I think that's the move. Just go for it. <laughs> Just go. Pirate at 56%. 82 votes? Jesus. How many people do we have in chat? Dang. Just send it. Just send it. I'm just thinking about my last move. And I think my last move should be to counter either the Vulcan or the Javelin. So I don't think it... Like, I think he outmaneuvers me anyway with the... And the Hunchback's not going to live very long, so maybe he gets, like, one more shot. He gets one more one more chance with that AC-20. The full send. One, two, three, four, five... Jesus. So that Vulcan can get anywhere in the woods it wants with with a jump oh my god well is the bombardier weak in the rear uh, he has 10, ar 10 armor in the rear Ugh. oh buddy i'm gonna back him up like terry and start charging your catapult now Oh, buddy. This is so bad. What do I do? The eject button's on the left. <laughs> no, I can't even. Can't get my Osrock into cover? I can. Then he has to go like this, though. I just have to play like super defensive. I, it's just so hard to account for the Vulcan and the Javelin now. It's just too fast. Both the Javelin and the Vulcan are doing the same role of, oh no, it's coming right at me. The the huge issue is the Vulcan and the Javelin can go pretty much anywhere they want. And then the Bombardier and the the Bombardier and the Corsair are flanking the archer and the catapult. So it's really hard to like just find anywhere to live. Javelin in the rear. Why? Why? What if I play to pick off... Ugh. Oh, right. The Osrock has no armor in the rear. God damn it. Outmaneuvered again by the pirates. And if I turn here... Turn one left. I'm in... Uh, I want to, I have to pick, I want to pick off either the Vulcan or the Javelin. They're just huge problems. Mm, okay. We will get the perfect range. One... Two, three, four, five, six. So something like this should be in medium range, right? Yes. So we will move the catapult here. No, that's so greedy um 
We'll move the archer. Ah, it's in full view of the Corsair. That's still in full view of the Corsair. There's no way to break LOS. There's no way to break line of sight. He's just there. I want the javelin dead though. I really need either the javelin or the um either the javelin or the Vulcan to die. Oh, we're in short range with the LR. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the play, here's the play. One turn left. And then Another turn on the next play, we'll get him in short range. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we'll do this. Turn here. No, wait, turn archer. Turn here. Oof. Okay, and then the Vulcan goes. Liber up, nerdy. Goss rifles announce their presence with authority. I know. Walk off the cliff and dive prone. I guess. I've actually never... I've actually never... Uh, messed around with with prone before i know it's like a it's like a tactic that uh, has is well known but it is not mastered by myself insane ox looks pretty neat i've been recently getting into tabletop battletech rpg never played online tabletop battletech before what program are we using we are using a mega mech oh they're just going for a kill on the osrock okay um if I double turn here, oh, I'm in medium range with all my guns, so I don't even have to move here. All I need to do is just turn one. Okay, that makes things simple then. Uh, then I just turn here, and I unload onto the uh, unload onto the javelin Vulcan with my learn boats. Okay, we'll do the obvious move first. The Corsair files. AC 20, 10%. Okay, that's not good. I don't think he's living, but we can keep his heat low, I guess. I don't know. Fire. Just fire everything. Just just be at 7 heat. Uh, Cataract. No legal targets other than the Bombardier. We get sixes on the Bombardier. That's good. So fire piercing weapons, we get 41 eights. Uh, I think we'll be okay here. Ah, I do have to account for the javelin firing. What did the javelin fire? Did he fire? Uh, fire it's firing regular, regular? Uh, SRMs, yep. Onto the Osrock? Correct. Interesting. And the Vindy has the Vindy get out maneuvered, so he can only fire his PPC here and his LRM onto the Corsair. It's fine. Uh, let's look at the Vulcan here. I want to see. Oh, the Vulcan's open on the right torso and the right leg, and the Javelin. Uh, does your right torso have ammo? Right torso. It has AC two ammo. Um, and the javelin is still pretty okay. Do I go for the Vulcan kill or the javelin kill? <clears throat> I feel like the javelin is worth more. Because it has the flame rounds. But I do get this. Fired regular rounds into the so five. That'll put me at eight. Uh, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, oh, where's my heat book? How much do I push this heat? Eleven will be two modifier. Uh, I'll be at eleven. Okay, we'll be at eleven. <clears throat> The javelin cannot be killed this turn, but what if I fire my catapult and my archer at it? But what if I fire my javelin and my archer? Yeah, we get nines. You can die. 
And LRM 15s do how much? Five heat? Uh, about seven damage. Heat. Fire everything. Good thing that Javelin pilot watched the Matrix a few times before getting out in the All field. Right, let's see, I'm shooting... I'm shooting 70 LRMs at him. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what happens. Weapons fire for Hunchback. AC-20 miss. He hasn't hit with the AC-20 yet. Oh, the Corsair targets the Archer. Double Goss rifle hit. Splits the fire onto the Hunchback. And he misses everything. <laughs> Cataprac hits. AC-10 large laser. Okay. Trying to open a hole in the Bombardier. Javelin hits the Osrock. Two armor on rear right. Oh, it got crit. Oh, we lost a medium laser and an SRM-4. The ammo's in the CT. PPC hits for the Vindicator. Okay. Vulcan unloads onto the Osrock. Okay, he's still alive. Bombardier lights up the Hunchback with an LRM-20. Crit critical hit on the heatsink. The Osrock fires back. Large laser onto the Vulcan. Medium laser onto the Vulcan. Two medium lasers on the Vulcan. So the Vulcan is pretty low. Oh, he's open on the leg, the other leg now. Okay. Catapult misses everything. <laughs> no. Now. And the Archer? Okay, the Archer hits with an LRM. Double hit with an R. Critical hit on leg. No effect. Oh. oh, those are some pretty low missile hit rolls. Uh, yeah, my uh, Gauss rifle trade. would trade. Okay, I can punch you, I guess. With a 10% chance. Macross called it. It wants its missile spam back. <laughs> Javelin is now a serious threat. Yeah. We didn't down any mechs during the physical, uh, during the shooting phase. Miss Kick Kick. He's still alive. He's still standing. Oh, God. Okay, we need to cool down soon. Catapult at 10 heat. Hunchback at 7 heat. Osrock at 13 heat. Archer at 9 heat. Maybe that wasn't smart with an Inferno Javelin on the table. Maybe that wasn't so smart. <laughs> Your Corsair can charge. <laughs> if I move the hunchback too soon. The urban mech is starting its charge. 12 is average for an LRM 20? Really? I don't think the yes. archer has a choice. I think it just stands there. Uh, when in doubt, the cluster tables are usually a seven is slightly over half. Yeah. All right, the catapult's overheating, so he also just stands there. Does he want to turn? I think he wants to turn. Everybody blowing the Ostrock. How's the Ostrock doing? He has no rear torso armor. Rear right torso armor. Sixteen if you have Artemis four. Mm mm mm. How do you manage all these um all these maneuver mechs? Like I only can manage one maneuver guy. Uh, if you spread them in different positions, really what I'm doing is a series of duels. Like the Corsair is battling the Hunchback and Archer, uh -huh. the Bombardier is trying to go for something in the middle of that pack, 
mm-hmm. and the Javelin and Vulcan are just going to bounce between the two. So it's not really a force. It's more of just a series of brawls at this point for me. Hmm. Ah, that Bombardier is so tanky. Where did pirates get lost tech? Buried treasure, my friend. Buried treasure. Catapult's barbecuing itself. Yeah, my, my missile boats are barbecuing themselves. I went for the javelin, and it didn't die. It didn't die, unfortunately. It is really crit. It has a 1 HP on a lot of torsos and open on the leg, but it didn't die. It fell off a ship. Exactly, exactly. Pirates turn to move. Where you going, pirate? Right, oh. DFA that catapult. You DFA'd the catapult? Uh... Huh. Wait, do you move? If you successfully DFA, are you in that square? Are you in that hex? Uh, yes, I'll take over that square if I hit during the melee phase. If you hit during the melee phase. Interesting. Does my Osrock just try and hang on? Did you win initiative or did I? Oh, no, that was you. I won again for the fourth time in the row. Um, um, hey, let me see them dice. Um, um, um. <laughs> yeah, really? Uh... My Catapract has really good rear armor. Wow. Maybe I did underrate it. It will just stand there since it has good shots into the Vulcan. DFA with legs only made of structure. <laughs> uh. Oh, it only has? Yeah, you're right. It has no armor on the legs. And it's dfa It'll be fine. Fire, fire, what fire. do you do? There's some duct tape on it. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Alright, where are you going? Uh, trying to see where I can flank that cataphract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What did you move? The Bombardier. Oh, we're mailing the Bombardier. We're mailing with the Bombardier. Um, can the Osrock get behind you? It cannot. It can, however, kick you. Or it can get onto the left torso. Is your left torso weak? Uh, left torso is taking a no, hit. No, left torso is... I actually don't want the Bombardier. I actually want the Vulcan. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to delay. So, um, my Vindicator has good armor in the rear, so it'll be fine. Uh, weapon. Do I just bring my Vulcan, uh, my Vindicator out to melee? I guess two kicks are better than one, no? Two kicks are better than one. Then I give you position. If I go there, then I give you position, but then, uh, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. <clears throat> Even if your javelin comes into the rear of my cataract, I can just keep my Osrock still. DFA is just jump next to it and push it down. But think of the glory. Think of the glory. Kick him in the face. Are we trying to recreate that one piece of concept art where the catapult gets crushed by DFA? Uh, what are your opinion? Oh, here. Kairos, first one to ask a question. 
Uh, what is your opinion on quad mechs? If I remember right, quads can double kick front and back. I'm not super familiar with the, all the quad rules. I always thought they looked weird, so I never really, like, bothered learning about them. And, like, the only real quad in Secession War Eras is a Scorpion, which is by itself bad. Is there another quad? I think it's only the Scorpion, right? I don't know. I've never, like, say, to, taken a super good look at them because in my studies, the only real quad in Secession War Era is the, is the haunch. Um, is the... Um, Uh, it is a scorpion. So, do we go into melee with the Corsair here? <laughs> do we melee the Corsair? I mean, he. Well, wait, wait. He'll crush us if we get into melee. But we're dead anyway. There's no. This guy should be dead by this turn. All right. What's the most profitable move for us? I'm assuming this man is going to die. He's at 7 heat. We can move forward and get... And then we'll die for sure. Okay, alright, alright, alright. We'll just move here. Uh, and we'll turn. <laughs> the scorpion and the goliath. Ah, is that an assault mech? That sounds like an assault mech. I don't think I have taken a look at it. I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on quads? Uh, they're expensive and usually undergunned. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It, the only one I really took, took a look at was a scorpion. It has like a 100% explosion chance on one of the torsos. And like low armor on the legs. So it's, it's just not worth it. it it's like building like a panther though i mean it's not bad but yeah goliath is a session wars as well i have not taken a look at the goliath but generally i don't i don't know the, the quads can move laterally right they can move left and right if i'm not mistaken or is that Correct. somewhere else okay i mean that gives you extra maneuverability um and then if one of your legs goes out you lose movement speed i think right you can lose two legs is that right yeah because you can take a couple uh leg hits with them hmm but then their legs are where the arms are, right? Correct. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, where that javelin going, by the way? Mm, really need him to win initiative one turn. Yeah, that would be... That would be nice if RNG, RNGesus gave you a uh, a win the initiative card. <laughs> I think I won four, like three or four times in a row. I don't like them. They're undergunned. Oh, the javelin moved away. Okay. I didn't expect that. Why'd you move that way? Uh, trying to protect him for a turn. That's so weird. Okay, my Osrock is at 13 heat. What did we do to this man? What kind of weapon? Oh, the medium lasers went offline. Um... If I move my Osrock right behind you, and uh, how does the do I get to melee you or no? Uh, the what air, on the, the Vulcan? Yeah, yeah no, because yeah, he's no, in the air. No. Okay, so the best I can do is I can run into short range, but I'm already in range with my. I think I just stand here. I wish I didn't push my heat as much, but I think that's a. Mm, I think it'd be okay. I'll just try and fire like a. Just relax for a turn. Okay. And I think Mr. Hunchy is going to die. So, oh, we get 83% chance. Um, what's that? 21, 8, 9 heat. 9 heat. I mean, what's another heat at that point? What's another heat at that point, really? Uh, oh. We get the same percentages with the on the AC-10 with the Javelin as we do on the Bombardier. So I think we twist and we unload onto the Javelin. And we know that the Javelin has... Let me review it. It has one armor and an open right leg. So um, we're, just, we're, just, we're just pounding this guy. <clears throat> 
We have one heat. Fire that. Fire that. Um. Hmm. We can take this guy out. We'll fire the SRM too. Hope that those Infernos don't hit. Ah, we'll play it safe. We'll play it safe. We'll play it safe. Okay. We'll play it safe because I know the Javelin has the SRMs. So we'll just fire the AC-10 and the large laser. And then we'll fire the SRM-6. Or SRM-4. That'll be okay. The Vindicator... It, 12s? What? 10s? 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 Uh, okay, we'll just fire, uh, fire everything here. Um, the Osrock gets nines onto the Vulcan, but it's hard to hit. That'll put me at seven. Seven heat. Is it even worth firing? Seven heat sounds bad. Whatever. Um, uh, you'll take a movement penalty, but no shooting penalty unless I knock out some heat sinks. 13, okay, wait. LRM-20s get 8s on the Vulcan and 7s on the uh, Corsair. Or I could kill the Urban Mech. <laughs> um, I think the Bombardier is the moat. Mm. We did say that we need to kick out the Corsair first, so maybe we switch over to the Corsair. 5s? Kind of sucks. Um... We're not killing the Corsair this turn is a thing. Oh, we get uh we get some decent shots onto the onto the Vulcan. Maybe we'll just fire Oops. Maybe we'll just fire onto the Vulcan. Fire two medium lasers. We'll be at five heat. That's good enough. And then I think the catapult swaps over to its brawl mode and starts unloading onto the Vulcan with the medium lasers. Okay. Oh no! Oh, that's a lot of green. <laughs> 80 tonner for one PPC, two LRM 10s, and two machine guns. Is that the Goliath loadout? Oof. All right. Goss rifle hits. Goss rifle hits. Crit. You got three crits. No, three crits. No, no crit effects. Oh, you crit my upper leg. Okay. God, what what heat are you at for alpha striking? That's what I want to know. Okay, finally the AC-20 hits. Onto the left leg, that's good. Okay. Bombardier fires. Javelin uh, lights no. up the cataphract. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. AC-10 to CT. Jump jet. Okay, double engine hit on the javelin. Weapons fire for Vindicator. Oh! Oh, we're doing floating crits. That's why you're dying so much. Because mm -hmm, I've got a lot of ammo. Oh, right. Oh, no. Well... Floating crits, everyone. This is why I don't like floating crits. <laughs> we crit the arm and somehow the, the SRM ammo explodes. I don't think your, MR, your SRM ammo is, was normally on the torsos, right? Uh, I think it's in the arm for the bombardier since that's where the weapon is. Yeah. Seven rolls a 10 right arm critical. Is that even possible on the normal chart? Right arm critical. Oh, it's a through armor crit. Oh, it, it, wait. Two damage. So right you arm. hit. Yeah. Eight internal structure. Uh, two, oh, I just rolled two crits. Check for crits onto the arm. Okay, okay. Is Do you have four floating crits enabled? Correct. You do? Okay, okay. That's one thing I don't. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm so okay. when you roll snake oh, eyes, God. Okay. again to see where it actually hits. Mm. I, okay, I wrecked you. <laughs> two mechs. 
Uh, Archer fires the medium laser at the Vulcan. Takes to the right torso, limb blown off, damage chart transfers to CT. Critical hit on right torso. Yeah, I don't like I don't like floating crits. Ammo explode. Jesus. Jesus, it's a blowout. Stack ball. Twenty damage succeeds. Okay, well at least your Corsair is still up. Oh, my catapult fell unconscious for some reason? What happened to him? Uh so Vulcan stack pulled, catastrophically exploded, ended up uh, hitting your head, it looks like, and you're really <laughs> straight guys to stay conscious. <laughs> what is this? What are these rules? Oh, explode. Pilot. Wait. Start secondary damage report. That's my uh, engine just going nuclear on top of you. Catapult was hit for 24 damage. CT, CT, left arm head. <laughs> just the Vulcan just dive bombing and then his mech explodes and blasts the catapult okay interesting <laughs> alright well let's look at the damage here oh 48% yikes yikers Immobile prone. And you lost an LRM-20? I did. Oh, that was the archer. Oh, our LRM-20 went offline. Oh, it's so open. Okay, okay. Uh, interesting. Well, my Irby is my second most Go, lethal mech, so I'm mech. charging it. <laughs> Go, Mr. Irby. Circus music is playing in my head with, with what's happening. I don't think the archer can do very much. I think uh, we actually can. Um, we can just initiative sync with the catapult. Uh, the javelin's still alive. Opens. Oh, it's right. It's on fire. It's got two engine crits. Two engine crits. Yep, and it's uh, basically stripped of armor. Do we just stay here for one more turn? I think we just stay here for one more turn. Catapult is now a free initiative sync. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty much. Could have been worse. Could have been playing with the optional rule where ammo explosions act less like stack poles. Dang. I did not. Yeah, I don't know. What? What are you? I'm. I'm just not a fan of floating crits. What are your? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, they add a element of randomness, but um, they they definitely are one of those. It can make you feel bad real quick, so you gotta know that you're gonna do floating crits as much as you receive. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I feel like it doesn't reward like maneuvering as much because you can just get crit anywhere. Mm. My hunchback's still alive for whatever reason. I know, right? That shouldn't be happening. That he's just oh, he's open on the left torso though. And that's two tons of that's a hundred percent crit chance. So he's open on the left torso with a hundred percent crit chance. <clears throat> Crazy. Oh. Okay. Um I think we just start moving in on the Osrock, right? Or on the uh, on the Corsair, right? I don't. I don't see why we wouldn't. Oop. I don't think the Javelin's too much of a threat anymore. We could probably pick up the um, pick up the Urban Mech as we move in. Um, floating crits just mean that you, when you crit somewhere other than your CT, uh, you can crit you crit somewhere that other than your CT on a hit location roll of a two. Floating crits do make it less likely that tax can only hit your CT, which is usually pretty catastrophic, as that's where your engine and gyro are, as opposed to floating crit upper arm actuator. Hmm. 
I'm yeah, I'm I don't know, I'm not a fan. I I like the I like the regular crits. Oh, Mr. Javelin. He's on his last. Why won't you die? We'll send the Vindicator at him. Actually, can we move the Cataphract? Maybe we'll send the... Uh, it's kind of a weird spot. We will run the... Cataphract up and trust in our armor. Maybe we'll run away from him like that. Um, hmm. Do we jump behind the javelin? Do we walk to the javelin like this? He's open everywhere, right? He's open CT. Pretty much. Uh, strong breeze will open CT, create him out. And the right leg. Uh, right leg. You, did you jump with the javi? Correct. Okay. I think we just walk like this. Uh, walk like. Mm. Dang. You wouldn't crit with the. You wouldn't crit me in the back with the urban mech. All right. Well, our hunchback still alive. Five heat. Eight heat. Just he's he's going to die. <laughs> he is going to die. Um. Twist. Uh, why can't I fire with my cataract? Why can't I fire with my cataract? Impossible. LOS blocked. Oh. Uh, might be too many trees between yeah, him and the Corsair. Yeah, 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 that was it. Okay. So we have to hit the... Oh, he just can't do anything. Uh, oh, well. Wah, wah. Oh, he's at 14 heat. 11 heat already. We only waste a little bit. Um, we fire that. Okay. My... Catapult doesn't do anything. Ostrock, can he hit the Javelin from here? He can. Uh, it's pretty much crit, right? So we'll do a large laser and a medium laser, maybe? 2%. Um, we'll just do one large laser. I want that arc, I want that Javelin off the field. We'll fire our LRM at it. Twist. Uh, LRM 20. 9% or 27% 58 uh or 72% Let's fire at the Corsair, I guess. Okay. When will we get nerdy over analyze Discord 2.0? We won't. Um, it's just too much for me to manage. I think if anything, join the MRC Discord if you'd like to uh if you like to play Battletech. I'm also in that. <laughs> he hits with everything. <laughs> uh, a tw uh twenty damage to the arm. But yeah, I think MRC Discord, if you Google it, you should be able to um should be able to join. Vindicator hits the right leg, crit no effect. Oh, you hit the catapult. And did my archer die to your course? Jesus. You just alpha strike with your broadside? Oh my god. Uh -huh. god. Oh my god. Um, opens fire for archer. AC 10, the catapult, CT. Wow. You need six. Interesting. Corsair falls. Hunchback. Falls and blacks out. <laughs> uh, okay. Missed the kick. Missed the kick. Okay. Oh, you hit me. Oh, you hit 
Yeah, but I'm about to explode. Okay, okay. Post uh, 3049, most mixed up cases standard for a reason. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> ammo explosions should be limited to the segment where they happen. Losing a whole mech to any ammo explosion is just annoying. It is really irritating. Oh, what happened here? What? Uh, I fell over and exploded myself again. <laughs> what? Boom. 23 heat. Infernal ammo explosion. You avoided it on 10+. Shuts down. Must make a piloting roll reactor shutdown. Fails. Falls on its rear. Crits itself. Needs a six to avoid ammo explosion and explodes. Wow. <laughs> the hunchback is not dead yet. Somehow. Two of my guys are... Okay, my hunchback is unconscious, but my catapult woke up? Correct. Okay, okay. The hunchback is giving Alaric Ward a run for its money. <laughs> uh, okay, my archer is not long for this world. Run it into melee, maybe. I think the Vindicator... I want to see where that... Um, I want to see where that Corsair ends up going. So we'll just play safe for now. I think we can run our Osrock. Uh, Cataproc can just walk up, right? I think he'd be fine. He just walks up. Take the obvious moves first. That Irby's going to clean up. It's a fresh urban mech! Uh, catapults, get up, turn, oh, the Corsair got up, ooh, that's scary, that's not good, ah, oh, you can't flank yet, there's no way to run, Uh, Archer can move. Here, he can back up. Mm, no. Oh, uh, maybe he just throws hands. Maybe he just throws hands. He's got no armor. A decent chance he's gonna die. Is your Corsair low on the leg armor? It is low on the leg armor. It's low on the leg. Uh, so yeah, so we'll start. Maybe we'll get a lucky leg hit. Um, armor on the. Oh wow, he's open CT. Um, yeah, why not? We can move into short range. And then the Osrock can come. Um, Oh, the hun oh, Hunchback's unconscious. Osrock can go here, here. Uh, Osrock can move. Oh, you want you want initiative with your urban mech. Uh, um, I was gonna sneakily slide him into the middle of the map there. start I think I start trying to flank here what it's one heat with the Osrock so it can kind of go ham here um I think I'll be fine oh I gave you my back oh my god Uh, uh, nope. uh, I'm too slow to get a real oh, shot. Oh, right, right, right. Urban mech. We're saved. Uh, who is this? The Hunchback? Wait. No, no, he's unconscious. He doesn't get to do anything. Uh, Cataphract. 
could unload onto your urban mech. He's not going to be a problem. Okay. Um, 91%. Jeez. 91% with the medium lasers. We got to... We got to fire those. And we'll fire an LRM. <clears throat> Unload on the Corsair. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Osrock first, because it has piercing weapons. Fire, fire. Four heat's good. I want to keep my legs up. I think... I think the Vindicator can just 1v1 the uh, the urban mech. He'll he'll start taking care of the Irby. My Cataphract. Fires... Oh, my archer's still up. Okay, the archer fires. Blah, 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 blah. The LRM-20 certainly can't hit. Yeah. So it's just actually two medium lasers. That's it. Cataprac fires. I think you just fire everything, right? Fire everything! Weapons fire for uh, AC-10. The hunchback misses. Catapult hits with all the lasers. Osrock fires, hits with two large lasers. You got narrow low profile with your urban mech. Oh, Jesus, that Corsair. <laughs> Dude, the, the hunchback's still alive. Um, Cataprac fires, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. How are you feeling, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pirate? I'd like to buy some new dice, please. <laughs> Real. Do you wanna do you wanna call it after this? Uh, I think you I think next turn you'll be able to get that Goliath. Okay, okay. Hunchback transcends Alaric Ward. Are you gonna step on the hunchback? Oh I crit the leg. Um, broadside, left kick, critical hit on my hip. That's not good. Piling check succeeds. Archer falls. I mean, he's not going down easy, that's for sure. Vindicator should just stay still, I think. Any questions so far? He's still alive. Dot, dot, dot. Um, catapult, I think. I think the catapult just stands there. Um, my turn to move. Uh, Archer. Get up. Turn. Like this. And I, I think this square is... Oh, he falls again? Okay, fine. Oh. Um, get up. Oh, he can't move anymore. Wait. He can't move anymore? Um, might be too hot. Well, he's uh, got two heat. He's got two heat. Why can't he get up? Um, the hip hit is reducing his uh, movement speed. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, well, he's done, I guess. Pirates are to move. <clears throat> Charger, the hunchback baby. is still hunching. All right. Well, since you gave me that, and you won initiative, I think I have to just get behind you. Ah, oh, but my my guy is got crit though. I guess we just do this. All right. Where that. Oh, um, get up, turn, needs a 10? Yeah, he's missing a leg. Uh, and he's a little hot. Okay, just, just, just like stand there, I guess. Done. Um, 
Yeah, Cataprac can just stand there too. Where the Corsair going? Actually, I have two mechs that can't really do anything, right? The Hunchback's kind of out, and the Archer is kind of out as well. Run, Mr. Hunchback, run with no leg! For the Confederation! This is why you don't skip on piloting checks. <laughs> Archer falls. Crit on left leg. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, we can get you with the AC-20. We can get you with the AC-20. Impossible. Oh, the right arm's not... Alright, fine. Um... 91. Alright, unload there. Uh, 46. 91%, so we just fire that. Fire that. We fire that. Oh, that's way too much heat. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Uh, fire the meme laser. Not the meme laser. How is the... How is the... He's at 14 heat. Wow. Um... If he's at 14 heat, then we just fire one laser, I guess. It's 91%, though. Fives. Eight heat. Uh, Some like it hot. We can push, we can push, we can push, we can push, we can push. We can push, we can push. We can push the heat. Uh, Archer cannot shoot anything. Oh, we can get with the butt lasers. The butt lasers, yes. AC-20 misses. <laughs> uh, oh. Did you get crit? Uh, you'll see it. Corsair. Crit on the head? Critical hit life support. Blacks out. Wow. 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 Oh, the, okay, the Corsair just unloads on the... Wow, he's just not... Jesus! He's not going down easy. That archer just getting wrecked. <laughs> the AC-10 rips off the Hunchbacks. Oh, the Hunchback, he didn't make it. <laughs> he didn't make it. Oh man, those 91% though. He crits you with the butt lasers, wow. Automatically falls pilot unconscious. Wow, what a game. No, he died! Alright. I think it's... it's uh, that's it's, probably it's, it, because you'll it's, kill me next turn. Yeah, it's done. Good game, sir. Good game. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to just chatting for a little bit. You want to talk about the game? You want to talk about what happened? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I'm going to shoot that Corsair pilot for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is no longer uh, the Pirate King. No longer, no longer allowed to be the Pirate King. The thing I may have gotten greedy and spread my damage a little too much across that catapult archer and hunchback when I should have probably focused and just put one down at a time. Mm, mm, mm. With your Corsair, you mean? Uh, with really anything. And anything. then I took a little too much ammo for that game. Too much ammo. Three three mechs dying to ammo explosions oh, on the first yeah, or second yeah, yeah, time yeah, yeah, they yeah. got hit. Yeah. The, taking out the, um, the Whitworth at, like turn one was pretty pretty good um it's game is a good example of why i prefer energy boats for third secession wars mm -mm -mm. says big deal for sure yeah that's good uh kalos alary says you could have been our hope to take out alaric ward 
A triple sack pull and a floating crit in one of them, yeah. Maybe when we play again, we should probably take out um, floating crits. I'm not really a fan. Can do that. Yeah, yeah. Matthew Kelly, ammo explosion or just effective life in 3025? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of Quirks? Uh, I don't think they played too much of a effect in that game. Yeah. I didn't really feel like they did um, anything catastrophically unbalanced. Mm -hmm. All I saw were a couple of like glancing hits on the Urban Mech and the Vulcan. That was about it. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably a narrow profile in there somewhere, but you know, realistically, when I'm hitting on fives, sixes isn't that much of a stretch. Uh, Archer's command mech was giving out plus one initiative. The but his um his corsair should have command mech because when we pulled it up, um it, it I believe it had the command mech quirk. Unless I screwed up somewhere. The Vulcan survived one extra turn from a low profile. Mm mm mm. True. Everybody just ended up on the floor. It was a I think it was a I don't know. How did did you did you have fun getting blown out? <laughs> You know, you gotta you gotta make memories. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, know oh. I, I had fun, but uh, I don't know if you had fun just getting trashed. Although, how many how many games have we played? We played like mm. like three or four. Yeah, about three or four. I always, I'm always like, I remember there are like number of case, like two or three cases where I just got like outmaneuvered and just lost. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I was going to do that again, definitely focus fire and a couple more laser boats uh, mm -hmm. probably would help. Yeah, bring like a crab. Or that a, was a that team. was a good list for that though, because those LRMs were very difficult to get past, and you still had a lot of chunk. So even when I did get on you, usually my mechs were just too anemic to do anything. What do you mean the What do you mean the the archer? Well, so like that archer and that catapult, they mm -hmm. sunk. You know, probably six times two Gauss rifle rounds between them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Archer is surprisingly tanky. And the Catapult is. is, like, pretty much on the level of the Wolverine, or um, I think a little lower than the Wolverine 6M for tankiness. Um, and it's padded really well. Next game just needs to be Savannah Masters. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the level 7 hill was actually good for the Cappies. I think so, too. I... It bought me like a turn or two to block, even though I just didn't even know about it. Yeah, yeah. But command mech, I would agree that command mech is, is pretty much essential, which which is kind of hit or miss with um, like uh, hit or miss because you have to take you basically are locked into taking a command mech, which is you know um, you have about six choices or so. Yep, yep, yep. Would you want to play again sometime, Mister Mister Pirate? Absolutely. We need the uh, yeah, yeah. episode yeah. 5 Pirate's Revenge. <laughs> the, re <laughs> the revenge of the pirate. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be cool. I don't know. Uh, do you want to try um, clan, clan invasion stuff? I think it might be neat. Or do you, would you want to keep playing pirates? Well, I mean, even in clan invasion, the pirates get some new toys, you know, yeah. from the year 3000 plus. So. Would, would you want to... Oh, okay, you wouldn't want to play a clan, though. You want to play, like, Jade Falcon versus Fedcom or something? Oh, no, I mean anything in there, you know. Yeah. Give me a clan, give me a periphery. I just don't like the Inner Sphere houses too much. Oh, okay. Jade Falcon versus... uh, Jade Falcon versus Fedcom. Or 39. Which you like better, Clan Invasion or 39? Uh, Pretty much anything. The later eras I like better just mm -hmm. because they get more toys and so, it's a very so. different style of play because yeah. pre-clan invasion is very much about you know heat and ammo explosions uh versus it's a lot more of a maneuver game in the later eras mm -hmm. and uh, that's a lot of big brain moves let me let's ask chat chat what would you guys prefer would you guys prefer um next game um would you prefer War of 39, um, Karita versus Fedcom, or would you prefer Clan um, Invasion? Um, was it Jade Falcon? Jade Falcon versus uh, Fedcom.
Everyone's saying Oberon Confederation. You have good taste. Oberon, Oberon Confederation versus Jade Falcon. But I don't know how to play Clan Mechs. Oberon Confederation. What? I, I haven't read the... I've heard of them multiple times, but what is the Oberon Confederation? They have a very cool insignia, but they're basically a speed bump. Okay. Kind of like, um... Kind of like a bigger... A bigger Rasselhaug. <laughs> I think they were the ones that were complaining about aliens attacking them before the Inner Sphere knew what was going on in the invasion. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Would, really would, cool would, Mech Warrior 2 mission. You would want to play the, um, would you want to play the, the pirates? The Oberon uh, Confederation? Or Jade Falcon? Uh, give me a Jade Falcon mech. They're, Jade uh, Falcon. they're fast and speedy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to, I want to get thrashed by, uh, by a clanner. Someone that knows how to play the clans. Because I've been playing um against a friend who's been playing Jade Falcon, but he's like brand new to the game. But I want to see how I want to I want to experience the clan invasion, how the inner sphere experienced it, and just get totally run over. Goss rifles make a lot of sense for pirates. If you run out of nickel slugs, you can just load cutlery from the galley. And call it Silver Bullet Gauss. <laughs> and spray paint the ammo. <laughs> Oberon Confederation is Galactic North and more aggression. At, with, uh, North Concordant with more aggression and less sense. Uh, I see. I see. How long have you streaming for? Wow, we've been two hours. That was a pretty quick game. I thought game. I thought I thought the game would take maybe like two or four hours. Or not two hours. I think I thought it was gonna take four hours because like when we played before, it was taking us like three or four hours. Although that uh, was you, with like thinking to try harding. Yeah, if you didn't find uh, ammo seeking missiles, it mm, might have gone a bit yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, cl chat is saying they want J Jade Falcon versus Fedcom, so maybe we'll play you as you as Jade Falcon then. Who won? Uh, I I won. <laughs> I I, uh, I kind of wrecked him. Uh, in a very rare blowout situation, I was afraid I was going to get uh, clowned on by Mr. Pirate. But the winds favored me. The dice favored me this time. Yep, yep, yep. All righty. Well, thank you for coming to play, Pirate. Well, we should set up another another thing next time uh, to play. But uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, thank you for stopping by, even if you you know didn't watch the whole thing or came in late. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, Commander. Bye bye now. I'm ending the stream. Bye bye.